Hello, <laughs> I'm Julia and welcome to my garden. It is, I think, it's a Wednesday afternoon. I'm not really sure what time and I'm not really sure what date. The 18th? It is Wednesday the 18th, 19th, not really sure, of March and it's raining. It's been fairly dry this morning and it was okay yesterday, but it's raining today. No, I've just been covering, you know those mini green houses, I've just been, let's show you, I've just been covering it with bubble wrap. I was going to go out and buy one with it, with a plastic cover on it, but obviously we're all doing our bit and staying at home and not making unnecessary journeys. And whilst doing something like this was necessary to me, it wasn't necessary enough to go out. So I um, I covered it in bubble wrap and I think it'll do fine. Um, I want to bring some of my slightly more tender things that are in the house out and I just wanted to make sure that the frost didn't get to them. So I've just covered this in bubble wrap because it previously had nothing on it. I'd sort of draped some bubble wrap over it. But I wanted to do it a little bit so it would stay where it's put, if you know what I mean. Which I think I've done. I think that'll do. I think that'll do. So I can bring, uh, it's the sweet corn. I want to bring that up. It's sort uh, of taking over the asylum in the house. Huh. Not quite as much as the tomatoes are doing, and the peppers. The okra's got a bit, I don't know, two of the plants just don't seem to be happy anymore. Another three, four, another four of them. I've put back on the heat mat, but I think the two that I've not bothered putting back on the heat mat, I don't think they're going to make it. They just don't, they don't look like they're going to. Something ate some of the manzinias. Everything's going well in here, really. I have lost a few things, there's no two words about it, but, you know, it's the way it is. Uh, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what's, doing, what's going well, and I'm gonna tell you about what I've lost, and what's not got started yet. Okay, let's start with this top shelf. Um, Peas are three. These ones are Calvin Wonders. And they've come through nice and strong. They're doing okay, quite pleased with how they're looking. They, these are all like little antivirums, there's so many in each pot, it's just crazy. I think I'm just going to split them into small bunches and pop them out when they're bigger. I'm leaving them in those cups for now and they'll just grow, in. I'll break them up into small clumps. These are some more peas, these are the Azita's Crombeck Blau Shocker, but you can buy them just as Blau Shocker from Premier Seeds and various other places. These are all doing really well. These are the Calendula, the orange flash. Look at the size of that spider's web in the background. Yeah. Yes, that'll have to get dealt with, won't it? Yeah, so these Calendulas are all doing, looking beautiful. As Sean Jens Cameron would say, beautiful. Okay, so we've got the new, newly bubble wrapped mini greenhouse. See what I can fit in there. I've also put it on a piece of cardboard at the bottom because I think a lot of cold comes up through the ground, doesn't it? And I'm going to use just clothes pegs to just hold it onto the edges here. So I think that'll, I think for like two on each side, clothes pegs should hold it down closed enough for the drafts not to get in too much. On this set of shelves, the Zibrunas are up, despite, look at that, big dip, dip. I was watering them with the watering can with the rose on it and the rose fell off right in the middle. Uh, anyway, so they're coming through nicely. Should have plenty of Zebrunas. And these are the Sturons, which are all doing really well now. Shooting up, still got a couple. They've not quite fired yet, but they have got roots, so I think it's all just, they're just a little bit behind the others. Well, <sighs> news on my zinnias. 
Not all of them, just some of them. Something has been eating the tops of them. Does anybody know what will have been eating the tops of my zinnias? Doesn't seem to have affected anything else. Just one tray of zinnias. I suspect it might be whatever is responsible for that slime trail. Oh, slugs. On this table, watering. I have got so, the zinnias that didn't get eaten. But these are okay, a little leggy, like that one's a little leggy. But I'm confident it'll be fine. They're doing okay. A little leggy, but okay. These sweet peas came through. Just bear with me, I've just got to step around the tripod because I didn't think things through and move it before I started filming. Okay, so these sweet peas. That was the heater. Mm. These sweet peas are doing really well. These are the, the Spencer Mixed, these six. And these ones are... That. Uh, oh, just assorted it says. Sweet pea assorted. I don't know them. Assorted sweet peas. I've only got three pots that have fired on those, those at the moment. But I'm pretty sure that the others will... See, it's a bit close to top. Yeah, I see they're starting. And that one. So I'm confident we'll get more out of those. Just watching these ones. I think they're Spencer Mixed as well. I think, I think they're, yeah, I think they're Spencer Mixed. And these ones are Bijou, which are a short sweet pea. Which I'll find a nice little place for. Those are some of me Golden Globe shallots that didn't fire up. Got some Delphiniums watering here. I've already done a load. These, these are just being done now. And look at this, this is my favourite site at the moment where I come into here. Look at all that, ain't that looking good? Needs watering, mind, so I'll do that in a moment. Yeah, I need the watering. Beetroot, two rows of Solyndra, two rows of Boltardi. One row of the one with a really long name that I can't remember. This one. Mm -hmm, that one. And then Swede, Marazan. I've never grown Swede before really, so we'll give that a go this year. Because I'm not doing Celeriac because they just got mullered by the foxes last year. So I'm trying Swede this year instead. Turnips, Purple Top Milan, which is actually my absolute favourite turnip. They're looking nice little plants, aren't they? Lovely. I'm going to plant them out as they are in little modules. Some of them have got more in than I would have wanted, but they're doing fine. And the same with the turnips, snowball. They'll grow it in little modules, as will the beetroots. This is Swiss chard, which is looking lovely. That's all come up since last time we looked at them. And then the pack choy. And the Brussels sprout. Dark Mar, I'm reliably informed that it's Dark Mar 21, not the Z, Dark Mar Z, <laughs> Dark Mar 21. And somebody, the person who told me, <laughs> told me what the actual name of what I'm growing is, um, said they didn't do anything for them last year, didn't get any single sprout off them. So I'm hoping it's not like that this year. Fingers crossed. Collies, that's all year round cauliflower, which again I didn't do well with last year, but we're giving it another go. Curly kale, that did really well for me last year. <laughs> They're down. Plants down, people. Plants down. What's that? Cold rabbit. Ah. They just need watering. I'm pretty sure they're going to perk up. And more purple cold rabbit in there. Cabbage, golden acre, and cabbage. Oh, another one with a funny name. There we go. Winning stat. So I can do it when I try. Got a few empty pots that I've lost things from. Some onions and things in these little pots and leeks, various leeks and onions. And they're all gone. Oh, and there's some more sweet peas, assorted sweet peas. Just called assorted sweet peas. Look at all these sweet peas. No, ain't that a sight? We all know that means there's going to be a lot of 
beautiful flowers going on in this garden this year. And over there, just hiding in the corner, those are the leeks. Leon. Leeks. Let's go over to this shelf. Oh, I know, it is the 18th because yesterday was the 17th, which was the day that I should have put these potatoes into compost, but I've not done them. And I'm not doing them today either. But I will come up here tomorrow and do them. That's my list of things to do. These are more calendulas, more calendulas, and more calendulas. And I think, which ones were you? There's some dolphiniums in little pots there, which are doing extremely well, actually. Look at that. Nice little plant starting in it. Sad looking gypsophilia, but started there. I think they're just not liking that I've moved them down here, but they'll just have to sort of like it all on pit. What are you? More calendula. There's going to be a lot of calendula. <laughs> over here. Moving over to this table. Cosmos. Getting their second, le second leaves through now. So these are a lot shorter than the ones that I've still got in the um, sewing room. So I think I'm going to bring the ones from the sewing room out because this, the growth on these is much stronger. Those are some more Cosmos, various sorts. Onions starting to take off. They are, these are the Golden Globe ones. So we've got those starting to take off now, which is cool. More Dolphiniums, just watered those. Got some more in there, still watering foxgloves and something else. Something else to do. Ah, of course, the Autumn Calabrese never grown that before so that's going to be interesting as well and yes they are getting leggy they probably need putting on soon oh I might just add there's quite a lot of space in those for some more compost just to be chucked in isn't there let's do that let's chuck some more compost in on them leave it at that for now so that is what is going on in the greenhouse and I would say not bad at all Things are getting a little busier in here now. Oh, I know what else I need to show you. You'll be wondering, because I know you've been paying attention, where the um, broad beans plants are. Well, they're out there, getting a bit of weather. I'll leave them out. They've, I started hardening them off a few days ago, and I am just going to carry on for a few more days. So they're, they're actually going to be out there all day today, and I'll come back up about four o'clock and put them back in. I've still got to move that massive sheet of plastic that's at the back there. I ain't going outside. We'll do an outdoor garden tour soon. I think doing inside the greenhouse is enough for today. But I think the onion, the potatoes are saying, yeah, we're ready to get into the soil now. So we'll do that. We'll get them in the soil tomorrow. Polytunnel, well, I'm still not going in the polytunnel. <coughs> That was a watering can. Uh, we're still not going in the polytunnel because it's still a work in progress. I've been building the door frame. Yep, on this side, I don't think, for the moment, I'm not going to do a door frame at the far end, just at this front end. We've been trying to make it so we can actually get into it without going through a mud bath. Uh, so that's a vast improvement. This, uh, look at the state of mud. It's just been horrendous. So, I'm trying to, I, we're going to be digging out a bit all this dirt and putting hardcore and stuff down. I need to reassess the paths. All that weed suppressant sheet that I had, which has been so wet whenever we walk on it, it just pulls and drags everywhere and it's a bit of a death trap to be honest. So that's going to change. So that's all pretty cool, isn't it? I'm going to get some more things in water and like that needs water. I remember where that came from, Julia. At least I've got a record <laughs> doing this. Stick some more water in that. All righty. On a brighter note, the Sturon onions are doing well. But most of them are fired now. Just one or two, few. That one's just about getting going. This one's not started yet. The roots are down there though, so it's just gathering its energy. I like to think. I'm going to find that wretched thing that made, has been in my dahlias. Might come down here tonight. Look, oh, it's just 
turn the tops off the lot. So annoying. Well, not the lot, because I've still got quite a few that are okay, but these ones from this tray are just goners. It's Adam, look, yeah. Snail trail. <sighs> Slug or snail, snail I would imagine. I've just found and dispatched one. So we'll move these ones out of the uh, farm's way as much as we can. <sighs> it's not even started yet. Not got things out in the ground and I'm already battling slugs and snails. For heaven's sakes. <sighs> 